Hey guys, I'm Hillel Russo, a tennis pro here at the Ritz Carlton in Key Biscayne. And today I will show you how to hit a forehand like Novak Djokovic. He's looking around, did you see that? <laughs> All right, hey guys. Every, I'm sure everybody knows who Novak Djokovic is. Everybody always talk about his backhand, how great his backhand is, but often we forget how good his forehand is also. Okay, so there's one or two things that I'm gonna show you today to help you guys improve your forehand that he does so well, okay? All right, so the first thing he does on the, on the forehand that he does so well, his racket head is always up. Always up, higher than the wrist, he keeps the racket up and he keeps his left hand on the racket which forces you to turn your body, keep take the racket back, turn your body, okay, and you can load really well on that right leg, the racket is still up, okay, and as he's about to go for the shot, that's the ready position, he keeps it there, and once the ball comes, that's when he drops the racket head, pushes off the right leg, and that's when he snaps the ball and uses the pronation of his arm to finish all the way around your neck, so he can finish all the way out here, and he really uses core, his legs, and everything in sync. All right, so the one thing that the average tennis player over, always overlooks is the footwork. Everybody always focuses on the forehand, the take back, the racket it up, which is very important. But at the end of the day, if you're not in the right place at the right time, you cannot hit a good forehand. So what he does very well and much better than anybody else is his positioning. By far, he has the best footwork in the game right now. So his positioning is definitely the best. And once he loads for the shot, he wants you want to hit the same shot every single time off of the bounce. Okay, so you have to move your feet depending on where it is. You can hit it there, cross court, set up, down the line. Every single shot that he hits, he's perfectly set up according to where the ball's bouncing, so that he can hit the shot that he wants, whether it's down the line or cross court. And one big misconception that we all have is that this is actually the center of the court. Technically, this is the center of the court, but in reality, the center of the court is a little bit more on this side. For one reason is that we don't have the same type of reach on the back end as we do on the forehand. So everybody always takes the ball here and tries to go uh, um, to hit a backhand, but in reality, the professional always look for their forehand for a couple reasons. Number one, you have more reach on the forehand. Number two is that you have a little bit more power on the forehand. So you try to come around the forehand so you can keep being aggressive on your shots. Try to keep aggressing your opponent so that you can find the short ball. Once you get the short ball, they don't miss. Djokovic will not have an opportunity miss so to come in. Whenever the short ball comes in, he tries to put it away. Never stop looking to put away the short ball. This is what you're working for when you're hitting forehands and backhands. All right, now I'm gonna try to demonstrate a few forehands like Novak. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.